hear this amazing sound, but I don't know what it is. It's probably just the wind, actually. It's really high pitched, and it kind of wavers in pitch up and down, but it sounds like there's three or four different parts of the sound that are all loosely moving in that, um, in that up and down movement, but they're not all identical. They're approximately identical. It sounds really good. Walking past some pretty fat houses. It'd be quite nice to live. <clears throat> I really don't have much hope of owning a home. At least not in Sydney. It's always strange remembering that I'm in such a deluxe situation, even just living at home. And like still working, but not having to pay for a whole lot. It's pretty deluxe. Let alone living in like a fat house. Like one of these bad boys. Not that I want that. Not that I not that I wish, you know, I was in that sitch. But in Sydney anyway, it just doesn't seem feasible, really. Like the average, I think maybe even like the median house price is still like a million dollars. And it's just like, well, <laughs> all right, a million dollars, that's a lot. Like, I'd be fortunate to make like 60 grand a year. And so, what's that? It's like more than 15 years, more than 15 whole years of that salary. And then obviously, you can't obviously you're not contributing the whole thing because you get taxed and you get um, you have to pay for your mortgage and shit and obviously if you're paying a mortgage you're paying more than you know if the house is worth a million and you're also paying the interest rates you'll end up paying a fair bit more than a million by the time you're done paying it off even if I devoted half of that salary every single year, if I saved half of 60 grand and put it aside, it'll still take 30 years, more than 30 years to. And then by that point, I've already lived a fair bit of my life. So it's kind of like, well, what do you do, really? I guess I'll just end up moving somewhere cheaper. In Germany it seems like the government owns most of the housing and they rent it so they can control the, the prices and it's not as controlled by foreign investment which is better. I'm not saying that our housing market's controlled by foreign investment but you know if people who don't live here can buy property and develop it and shit then well you know you're also competing with much richer people not even in your own country not even people that would just live there but the other people that want to make more money on it so it's like you know I don't know what the answer is really Maybe just move to a different part of New South Wales and commute to, to Sydney. Maybe live in the Blue Mountains, find a nice little place. Or in like Wollongong. Or... They're not too far, it's like an hour commute. You 
need to go even further. We'll move to like Hobart, where it would be much easier to afford somewhere, and it would still be really nice. But that's the problem, it's like, do you want to have a, a, a nice house in a place that maybe has less of what you want going on like culturally? Less music, less art, less uh, stuff like that to cop, or do you uh, do you stick it out in a smaller place that you're paying too much for, but you're in a pumping city? This vlog is too long.